In order to do the OneDrive assignment app, you will first need to make sure that you have your OneDrive assignment inside of your OneDrive. So inside of my OneDrive, I have my feedback metaphors, and I wanna make sure that my sharing setting is set to allow any student within my class to view. So I can press on the three dots right here, which indicate menu, and I can press share, and I'm going to change this where instead of it says only pe people I specify, I don't want to have to put in all my students' names. I'm going to go ahead and just click my people in Fort Bend Independent School District because that's my district. You don't need to worry about the allow editing um, being off because students are not actually going to get to your copy. The, the app is going to make a copy for them. You have to do the following two things in order to get the OneDrive to remember this setting. So I have to select my Fort Bend Independent School District, and then I have to press Apply, and then you have to, have to, have to press Copy Link, and then Copy. When you have this green check mark, that means that OneDrive now understands that this is a shared permission for anyone in the school district. So make sure that you do press this copy button right here in order to activate that. You don't actually need this link. You're not going to use that link, uh, but we're just pressing this button to activate that memory. Okay, so now I have this ready to go for students to use. I'm going to go into my Schoology. You can see that this is my Schoology. My name is Sarah Johnson. I'm going to go ahead and add my material. I can add my material by pressing this drop down menu and I'm going to press assignment. Now you must include the title of the assignment and you must also include the grading category. So I'm just going to call this one sample and I'm going to go ahead and make it a daily. And remember that if you are using the Skyward Sync, you do want to go ahead and give it the actual due date so that way it will be in the correct progress report. Okay, the thing that makes it a Microsoft OneDrive assignment app is this button right here. You will click it. You might have to share or approve or permission into your OneDrive and you will say yes or accept as they come through. Once you're in there, you're going to go to the folder that you had and you are going to go in and find that document and here it is I'm going to click on it one time you'll see that it's remaining highlighted in blue and I'm going to press attach okay once that's done I'm going to press create I'm going to show you the difference of how it looks so normally if you made an assignment and you attached it to the uh, assignment the the document to the assignment, you would just click into the assignment and it's not going to look very different. But this one, because the OneDrive assignment app is being used, all of a sudden now you have these tabs. You have the assignment, which is the original document, but you also have something called in progress and submissions. In progress will be all of your students. And so you can see these are the four students I have for this course. Um, one of them is a real person in Fort Bend ISD that he's letting me use his login as an example uh, because I can't use these fake ones because they don't actually truly have OneDrive. So I have to use a Fort Bend ISD person. And so Daniel's letting me do that. The next um, tab is called submissions. So submissions will be after they submit. And you can see no one has submitted theirs yet because I've just made it. So this is the teacher view. I'm going to flip over down here and in my Microsoft Edge, I'm actually logged in as Dan. So I'm going to click down here and you see now that I'm Daniel Johnson. So now I'm a student. So the reason why I want to do this is I want to show you what this looks like on both ends. So as a student, when Dan clicks on sample, his view is also different than traditional view. He now has a tab that's called My Document. When he clicks on My Document, it will actually bring up kind of a little preview, and it will probably ask him to log in and give permission here, and that's totally fine. See how it's going to ask him to do that? It might even tell the kids that something went wrong. Okay, and that's totally fine. They're just trying to log in all parts of the app. Remember, OneDrive is very much locked down for student security. Um, so they're going to have to log in a couple times, a couple different ways, but they'll get used to it once they start doing it. So here is the preview item. And you can see where it has these blanks right down here, along with my example. 
he can submit this assignment. If he were to submit the assignment right now, it would be completely blank, so he doesn't want to do that. And he can edit the assignment. So he's going to go ahead and press edit. Okay. And for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and insert some text. Automatically, the uh, this document right here, the one that's called sample, because I named it sample, and that specific number right there is from the course, that will be put into his OneDrive. So he will actually be able to go into his OneDrive at any point in time and use that in order to let's just do this right here in order to uh, access it at home he can also access it through this OneDrive app okay so I'm just doing some examples to show you kind of where things are and how they look so that way you know that how this is working so this is my student view inside Microsoft Edge I'm gonna go back to my teacher view so this is me and I'm just gonna refresh my browser because now Dan is inside of his assignment and when I click on Dan's name in the in progress, I can actually view his progress. Okay, so you see how it's kind of uploading? I'm gonna go ahead and press open. So I can see a whole page because I really wanna look at it. And you can see it's even more up to date. So now here's where things get interesting. I can see Dan's, I can see Dan's essay. On Dan's screen, if we're in the computer lab, he's currently typing on this essay, right? So I can go back, and as I'm seeing him type right here as he goes, I can give him feedback in two ways. The first way is probably a little bit more difficult for students to realize it's happening. That is through the chat. So in the chat, I can go ahead and I can talk to Dan almost like an instant messenger. Um, On Dan's end of things, which again, he's over here in Edge, now this chat just came up. So he can either respond or he can ignore. And you see how it kind of disappeared? And up here it has that orange circle on his speech bubble so that lets him know that someone is chatting with him. What you want to do with students is you want to show that this is happening if you choose to use the chat feature so that way they understand. Alrighty, so there's that. Okay, another way that you can give feedback to students is inside, and you'll see I'm back on my login again, inside of your Word document or your PowerPoint or whatever it may be, I'm gonna just highlight the text I want to talk to Dan about. Let's say that there's something in here, and I wanna go press review and say new comment. Okay, so on the side next to whatever I have commented to, you'll see the little speech bubble that shows up. So this is the review speech bubble. On Dan's view, so I'm slipping over here and now I'm Dan, he will also see that chat, that, I'm sorry, that comment, and he can actually reply to you. Okay, so he could reply here, or and he could post, or he could go in and he could just fix it, whatever it is that needed to be fixed. So you're able to get this real-time feedback. You can also communicate, obviously, if you're in the computer lab, you could say, hey, Dan, I noticed this. Don't forget the heading or don't forget to capitalize letters. Um, or you could do it through these review boxes. So it kind of lets you decide how you want to communicate to students, how you want students to communicate to you. Okay. All right, so once that feedback is done, Dan has done his essay. He likes his essay. It's exactly what he wants, and he wants to submit it. And I am over here, and I have seen his work, right, if I so want to. By the way, the next day, if Dan were to just, like, X out right now, all of this would be saved. Office 365 saves as you go. 
So let's say the next day Dan comes in and he finishes, he can either choose to edit or he can submit. Or he's at home, he can choose to edit or he can submit. In fact, if he comes back out into Schoology the next day, when he clicks on this, he doesn't even have to go to his OneDrive. He can go back to his My Document. He can go back down into his document. See right there how we were changing things? And he can edit right from there. So he never actually has to even log in to his OneDrive. He can just keep going in through this assignment app. But let's say that he is decides he is done. He can press Submit Assignment. And it will check, does he really want to? If the due date has passed and he says, yes, submit, he will not be able to recall that message. He will not be able to fix anything. If he says, yes, submit, and it's not yet the due date, which it is not, it is not yet to the due date, you'll notice that there's this button that says unsubmit. So if Dan decides that later on, oh no, I forgot to add this, or maybe I come in the next day and talk to the students and he realizes he messed something up, he can go back and he can actually press this unsubmit button and go back to editing. On my teacher end of things, I'm just going to refresh. And again, this is my teacher end. Dan no longer appears in progress because he is no longer in progress because he has submitted. So when I press submissions, there's Dan. It's on time. I can even unsubmit and ask Dan to go and, and fix something. Okay. So I can go through here. I can read his work. If it's too small for me and I want to see it in Office 365, I can press open right here. Okay. And he, I can go and I can grade. So let's say that Dan does a phenomenal job. He got a 90. And I can say something like number four. Okay. I can choose to either keep this just as a comment for myself, or I can press this box, which is share gradebook comment with your student, and I can now press save. So if I press share gradebook comment with your student, when Dan is inside of Schoology, and he's inside the course, he can go to his grades. You see I have a lot of sample grades in here, so I need to look. And you see this is his his grade for his sample that I just made and you see how it says number four really needed a bit more detail to be clear so now he knows why he got a 90 instead of a hundred so that right there is kind of in a nutshell how to do the OneDrive assignment app uh, if you have any questions let me know